So when it comes to living in a society, one of my least favorite uh, periods in the United States is election time. I dislike election time because election time is when everyone forgets that they're human and they suddenly become uh, these perfect beings who are extremely well qualified. Oh, well, let me pause my game. Who are extremely well qualified to tell you how to live your life and uh, by what rules to live your life. Um, and it's those two things at the same time because during the rest of the year, I mean, or during the rest of, of the, you know, the social period, let's say, people are mostly a little bit more humble and they recognize their own humanity. And so they try to approach things in a slightly more humanitarian way. Uh, you know, uh, <laughs> but suddenly everything becomes very like black and white and either you're black or you're white. And isn't that ironic? <sighs> As I already said, well, maybe I haven't said it in a video, but I will not vote for Donald Trump or for Joe Biden. Absolutely, completely, I will not vote for either of those two people. I have rejected the better of two evil arguments since I was like 17. Uh, and the reason I reject the better of two evil arguments is because I do believe in a personal responsibility argument. I believe that to the extent that we can attribute responsibility, people are responsible for their own behaviors and for their own actions. Voting is an action. It's a behavior. So when you go and you put a vote for someone, you are acting and even though there is no judge, so to speak, to judge us for those behaviors, as I probably mentioned in many places and maybe in previous videos, I was raised in a Christian tradition. So I feel a personal pressure to do the things that I believe are good. And so I cannot, in my good conscience, support someone who... I believe or who I know is going to do things that I disagree with because of that. Because I feel then that I'm responsible for, for what they do if I vote for them. If I give them that, that power, I'm responsible. So I, don't, I, I usually don't vote for politicians and I usually don't give politicians my vote because I don't trust most of them. And it's not because they're human. I'm willing to trust human beings. Uh, I'm just not willing to trust those specific humans because of their patterns of behavior, because of their political affiliations, uh, or because of the things that they're just literally tell you that they're going to do. So let me give you an example of Trump. Trump, who may be the worst president in U.S. history. It's very possible. He's certainly the president who has, you know, said the most absurd things on camera to the American people. Uh, he's well surpassed George Bush at this point in terms of the absurdity of himself as a president. I won't necessarily say that his presidency has surpassed George Bush's in terms of absurdity. And that's, I think, very important because a lot of people associate someone's presidency with the president. The Democrats have so completely vilified Donald Trump amongst themselves and in their minds that they can't necessarily put his actions into a proper context. And I think that that creates something of a, of a misperception of reality, what they call cognitive dissonance. <clears throat> now, I'm not trying to say that I am an arbiter of reality. Absolutely not. But the, one of the big trends right now is they're saying that Donald Trump has declared war on the American people. Now, maybe I've missed some of the news because I don't pay the most attention, but I watched the video where Donald Trump says that if necessary, he will send in the military. I believe that's what he said, send in the military. And I was shocked because I took that to be pretty much what the Democrats 
are insinuating um, that he was suggesting that he would declare war on the American people. But he didn't declare war on the American people. I think it's a huge difference. I mean, unless I'm mistaken, there are not United States military on the streets of America in any city other than Washington, D.C. So please correct me if I'm wrong, because, you know, I look, I've got Twitter open almost all the time. I'm on my computer and, and one, you know, at least, well, three of the, the window, three of the of these like I've, I'm using tweet deck so three of my of my uh, columns are just news so I, I would I think I would have seen it if Trump would have declared war on the United States but I could have missed it and so when Democrats say that Trump declared war on the United States that's propaganda the, the Democrats and Democrat affiliated people people who are willing to spread that they're trying to brainwash us and that's scary and so that's why I'm not a Democrat I haven't really gone into why I'm not a Republican, but I mean, that's, and that's not that's not what I disagree with about the Democrat platform, because the Democrat platform is different from their behaviors and their propagandistic actions. You know, their platform is how they vote in office, which is also a whole other mess that we could talk about if anyone wants to talk about it. But so this is just a random video that's already six minutes and 30 seconds long. Be well.